You can go right to the uh, math department's website. It's through the science division's website. Um, I can give you that address later, I guess, if you if you want it. But if you go to the website and you click on courses, um, you'll see course descriptions as well as course learning outcomes. And this is where you can find a list of all the topics covered in each course. Um, I think also if you're advising students about Math 98 uh, or 97, 98, 99, it's really useful to show them that we have final exams on the web, and that gives them a really good understanding of what is covered in the course. Um, and so that brings me to the next question I was asked. I think um, you have to be really cautious when advising students to do that because um, and this is something I don't tell students, but Compass is multiple choice, so it's very possible for a student to be a good guesser and get in the wrong math class. And it's not unusual for those students to take those classes three, four times before they're successful. So um, I usually, if the student is interested in placing either out of or into the 97, 98, 99, I refer them to the, the final exams online. And I tell them that's the best way to see if you're actually ready for the course you want to get into. And you can use it as a way to study for the compass. Um, but I do tell them, you know, they are allowed to take it a, a second time um, if, they, if they choose to. That's a really tough question to, because a steps course plus a math class gives them 17 credits, which is a really, really full load. And I can understand that it's really good advice for a student to get started on both of those things at the same time. I usually tell students that I would only recommend that if they have no other commitments in their life. And by commitments, I mean work, family, other stresses, just the whole issue of college being a new thing. So I usually don't recommend it. Occasionally you might get a student who wants to give it a try, and but I make it very clear that that's eight, or 17 credits is a very, very full load, and they might want to save the math for after they finish their steps. And Math 093 is our independent study class. I would almost never recommend that a new student go into that class. It's a, it's a very special class, and it really only works in special cases. I think the kind of cases it might work in would be um, if a student has taken math and been successful in math in the past, but it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and they just need to brush up on some algebra to get themselves ready for college level math, that tends to work. It works really well with students who have already taken math classes here and, and used our computer system. It helps them, for example, if a student can't get through Math 97 in one quarter, independent study allows them to do the material in two quarters. Most students, however, cannot get through a full course load of material in one quarter doing independent study. If a student has questions about the class, the best thing to do is talk to the instructor, who's Jennifer Lavalia right now. Uh, the placement test has to be retaken within a certain amount of time. So they, they can't take the placement test and then the next quarter say they want to retake it. The placement test is good for a whole year. So if they want to retake it, it should be right away, you know, within a week. Right now, a student can retake one part of the English placement test. They, they could take either the reading, the writing, or in the ESL one, the listening, but usually it's the reading or writing one that makes a difference on the composite score. So they can look at their scores and decide to retake the part that's the lowest, for example. Um, however, unless they really know that there was something about the test, the, the, the time they took it, for instance, um, they got a phone call in the middle of it and they were upset or about something, or you know, some kind of condition of how they took the test, it usually doesn't make that much of a difference to retake it. The idea of the test is to really evaluate where they are in their reading and writing skills at that moment, not because they have prepared for the test. So it's, it's better not to practice for it or study for it and that kind of thing, because they're not trying to achieve higher beyond their level. We want them to show their level where they are 
right now, no matter what, because that will put them in the right class. Really getting basic reading skill, that is comprehension and speed, up to college level is something that requires intensive work, and that's what the reading lab is for. Um, many students enter the reading lab um, reading a hundred words a minute or lower, and ideally by the time they have finished uh, steps class, which might be one quarter and it might be two, they're reading close to or at 300 words per minute, or maybe over. And that is a huge jump in terms of being able to read textbooks and, and comprehend them. So that work, because it's intensive and needs to be done um, in individual intense sessions like that, that's why we have it in the reading lab and not as part of the regular class. In some ways, 105 and 091, the other grammar class, are the same class. 105 should be for students who are already in or past 092, 093 level, and same with 106 for reading. Re uh, 106 is college level reading. Uh, 089 is for students who are placed at um, 092, 093 in um, the Compass test. Students who come in, and I've seen them many times in 091, who come in just to work on grammar really need to be working on reading at the same time. So it's better if, if students are advised to take 091 to advise them to take reading lab. Then they're, it's not as expensive, they're not taking 10 credits plus the reading lab, but 5 in the reading lab. Um, 080, independent reading lab, uh, is probably helpful for a lot of students even if they're already placed at above steps level. I mean, it's part of the steps class. But um, they might be advised to take that if, if they express their own misgivings about their reading level or reading ability, then it's good to advise them to take independent reading lab 080. Um, a lot of students do it because they want to. They've taken it in steps, and they want to keep working on it when they get to a higher level class, 093 especially, the non-native speakers.